Okay, we're going to go ahead and draw ISO line 3. And like most drawings, we'll go to that drawing real quick. It has a width of 1.5, a, a length of 4, and a height of 2.5. So we're going to go ahead and draw that solid. R for rectangle. Click once at the origin. Release your mouse, move away. Once again, you type in the length first, which is 4, comma. I'm going to type in 1.5. You can see these numbers appear in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Hit Enter. I'm going to hit P for push-pull. Make sure that the surface is selected. You see a whole bunch of little dots appear. Click once, release your mouse. Move up. I'm going to type in 2.5. Now, going back to the drawing, you'll see that there's this this L shape here on the top and to figure that out we know that this is 1 you can see it's written here um, this actually has a width as you can see of 3 fourths so that's 3 fourths this is 1 and to figure out either the length of this line here I can take 4 minus 1 I know that's 3. To figure out the length of this line here. If this is 3 quarters of an inch, which is the same distance from here to here, then I know that's also 3 quarters of an inch. So we have a few ways to approach this, but what I'm going to do is make this line here, which is 1, this line here, which is 3 quarters, and then just draw this line. So here we go. Now go ahead and do a little bit of rotation. T for tape measure. And click once here. I'm going to move in this direction. I'm going to type in 1. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, that guide line appears. I'm going to hit L for line. On the guide point, make sure it says guide point, click once and move away. And you see a green line appear, meaning that you're parallel to the to the back edge. I'm going to type in either 3 over 4 or 0.75. Either one will work. And I can simply just Keep moving, make sure the line's red, which means you're parallel to the edge, and click again. So there's that L shape. I'm going to hit P for push pull, and we're going to push pull this all the way down. Okay, so now we're going to draw that missing piece. So if we take a look here on the PDF, we have this notch here that's been cut out, and here's what we know we know that this is a height of half an inch. We know that this is a height of 3 quarters of an inch. And we know that the depth is 2 inches, which is also the same as this line here. And there's a few other ways to approach this, but we're going to just keep it simple. So we're going to hit T for tape measure. We know that from here, click. We're going to go down half an inch, which is either 1 half, 1 over 2. If I could also could have typed in 0.5. We'll go ahead and click here. I'm going to come up 3 over 4 or 0.75. Once again, either one will work. And now I'm going to hit L with my line tool. L for line tool. I'm going to click once. I'm going to move inward. I'm going to type in 2 for 2 inches. Okay. Now, sometimes in SketchUp you can touch a guide point like I'm doing here. I'm not clicking on, just touch it. You can move away. And sometimes it'll actually find that guide point if you move away from it. Sometimes you got to change your perspective a little bit. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, it doesn't seem to want to cooperate. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to exit out of this. I'm going to hit my escape key. That kind of just terminates that line tool. I hit L again. I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to type in 2 again. And I should be able to connect these points. There we go. Hit P for push pull. Click once. Move back. And there it is. Okay, ISO line 3 is complete. Go ahead and save your work. And go ahead and move on to the next drawing.